Hey guys, we're O and O. My name is Obadiah. And my name is Orion. In this video, we'll share our three top tips for singing in harmony. If you're just starting out, you can watch our beginner's introduction video, How to Sing in Harmony. Otherwise, here we go. You're walking down the busy streets, I'm wandering beneath the mountain. Singing in harmony is a huge part of our sound as a duo. But I only started singing in harmony when I met Obadiah about five years ago. So the experience of learning to sing in harmony for the first time is still very fresh in my memory. We know it can be challenging and it definitely requires a lot of practice. So we've put together the three top tips that we use when learning a new song. Tip number one is to approach the harmony line as if you are learning a new melody. Ultimately, the beauty of singing in harmony is blending with the other person. But first, you have to be confident with your own part independently. Some people say that once they hear the other person singing the melody, they can't help but jump to the same note and they end up singing in unison. We know this can be very frustrating and it might make you feel like you can't sing in harmony at all. But you have to remember that it's just a matter of training your ear and practicing. If you can sing a melody, you can definitely sing a harmony. Let's take an example from the song The Boxer by Simon and Garfunkel. Obadiah is going to play the harmony line on the piano. Once you get that done, you can move on to tip number two, which is get used to the sound of the harmony in relation to the melody. Here is the melody line for our example, the boxer. La, la, la. Listen to the two parts together. A good way to become comfortable with the sound of the harmony and melody together is to practice with your singing partner very slowly, note by note, with a metronome. Our metronome is set to 52 beats per minute. A good practice is to gradually increase the tempo of the metronome until you reach the actual tempo of the song. Which brings us to our final piece of advice for you, tip number three. Use the accompanying chords to help you find your starting note. Sometimes the hardest thing about singing a harmony is starting it. For example, Orion's harmony line starts on the note E. E is the second note in the accompanying C major chord, which leads into the chorus. When we're practicing and I play the C major chord, Orion is able to anticipate her starting note by listening to the chord. When you put it all together, it sounds a little like this. So there you have it, our 
our three top tips for singing in harmony. Make sure to check out our tutorial for harmonizing Fleetwood Mac's I Don't Wanna Know and also our full cover version of the song. Thanks for watching. Hearing in the background is the title track from our brand new EP, Tel Aviv to Colorado, which is coming to you this year. To hear the full track, click here. All you need.